morning children so that day we have seen beta hcf of two numbers by division method okay so let's see the hcf of three numbers by division method okay and division method is also known as euclid's algorithm okay so it is very easy method so let's see the hcf of three numbers for example see beta if the numbers are 15 25 and 12. So see children. So that day we have learned how to find the axial by division method. So that day, so we have learned only the division of or two numbers. So, so if numbers are three, then what to do? So we will find first the axial of these two numbers. Okay, and we'll take the axial of these two and the third number. Okay, that is what the axial of three numbers. So very first we will take any two numbers. So here first we will find the axial of fifty and twenty five by division method. Okay, and also we have seen the axial of three numbers by prime factorization method. Okay, so here fifty minus a fifteen five minus five zero and two minus one. This ten is the remainder. This remainder becomes the divisor, and the first divisor becomes the dividend. Okay, ten minus ten. What is left, beta? Fifty minus ten. One. See, five is the remainder. Now this remainder five becomes divisor. Yes, and that time we have to be this ten as a dividend. Five is a ten. Five minus five is ten. And you have to divide until you will get the result or the remainder zero. Yes, remainder is zero. But two is the quotient. Five is the divisor. Yes, but axial is the divisor. It is not the quotient. So this five is the axial of fifteen and twenty-five. Now we will take this five and the third number. Here you have to find axial of five and. What is the third number? Thirty. Okay. So start. So thirty is the multiple of five. Five six are thirty. Yes. Remainder is zero and the quotient is six. So six is not the axial. So we have to take the divisor. What is axial? Axial is this divisor by this we will get the remainder zero, and this is what we have. This is the axial of these three numbers. Therefore, axial of fifteen, twenty-five, and thirty is twenty-five. Now, see. First, you have to find the axial of any two number. Then take the axial and the rest third number. Got it, children? And that axial is the axial of the given numbers. Okay. So let's see one more example, beta. So we are taking eighteen, twenty-four, and thirty. Okay. So first we will find the axial of eighteen and twenty-four. So we are taking these two numbers. Yes, eighteen and 
This remainder becomes divisor, and this divisor becomes debit. Yes, six pizza eighteen. Therefore, x here of eighteen and four is what six. Okay. So now we are taking this x here and. This third number. Now find x of six and thirty-two. Divide six five thirty. Remainder is two. Now it becomes divisor, and the divisor uh, first divisor is six. Two three is a six. Again, remainder zero. Yes, remainder is zero. That means on what is our axiom? Axiom is this divisor. Therefore, axiom of Eighteen, twenty-four, and thirty-two is two. Got it, children? Okay. So let's practice another question. Okay, let us take the three-digit numbers. Okay, and the numbers are one forty-four, two fifty-two, and three sixty. Okay, so we will find first x value for these two numbers. So first write x here for one forty four. One forty four two sa. Two four are eight, two four are eight, and two four are two. So it is two eighty eight. Okay, so we will take one forty four one are one forty four. Subtract twelve minus four eight. It becomes four and four minus four zero and two minus one one. So it is one hundred and eight. Now this time this remainder becomes. Divisor and the first divisor becomes dividend. Yes, hundred and eight comes out hundred and eight. Subtract. It is fourteen. Three. Ha. Huh. Fourteen minus eight. Six. And it's three one minus one zero. This thirty six becomes divisor, and this hundred and eight. Thirty six six three is eighteen. 
So let's try 36 theta is how much? Yes. And it becomes zero. So what is our x in beta? This 36 is the axiom. So it is the divisor by which you get the remainder zero. Therefore, x f is 36. Now we will take this 36 and the rest third number. Okay. So let's start. of 36 and 360. So it is 360. Oh, sorry, it is not 360. The number is 630. 0. 6. Okay, now divide this 36 and this 630. So 36 and 630. So let's calculate 360 times 360. Okay, 36. So you can calculate in rough. Seventeen plus six one two ten minus two a two minus one one and six and six two yes a b this remainder becomes divisor and this thirty six eighteen two is thirty six. Zero, zero. Got it better? So what is our x here? This divisor, not the quotient. X here is always highest common factor. So this factor 18 is the x here. Therefore, x here of 144. 252 and 630 is 80. Got it better? How to find the XCF of these three numbers? Okay. So, shall we try one more question? Okay. See. So let's take four digit number. And the question is Okay, so what to do? Again, we will take this two number first and we'll find the XF of these two numbers. Fourteen is eighty. So we will take fourteen hundred forty one plus zero. 
six x seven minus four three. Okay. Now this becomes divisor. So thirty six six four the see zero zero will be if you cancel them like this zero zero so it's only one forty four and divided by thirty six left six four the so let's try thirty six four the yes so three six three. Four thousand one four zero. So, what is the answer of this? One thousand two hundred forty and eighteen hundred. It is three sixty. Okay. Now we will take this x here and the third number. Yes, three sixty and one thousand nine hundred twenty. One nine two zero. So if zero zero will cancel, thirty six is left. So let's try thirty six five six up thirty. Okay, so you can guess eighteen hundred. Okay, so thirty six three sixty five up eighteen hundred zero minus zero zero minus two two nine minus two one. Now this divisor becomes divider becomes divisor twelve twelve three is a thirty six means one twenty three is a three sixty yes remainder is zero so what is the axiom this factor or this Highest factor of this three or the divisor. Okay, therefore, X C F of one thousand four hundred forty eighteen hundred and one thousand nine hundred twenty is one twenty. Got it, beta. So for that you need much practice. Okay, without practice you cannot be perfect to find the answer. So you have to take more questions for practice. Got it, beta. So we will stop over here, children. Bye bye.